Love is love. Love is love. Adi, yo. So we are here at Patmangkorn Station. So it's good to see all the places open up now. Yeah, especially post COVID, we had a temporary lockdown. But yeah, you see how the Thai people have our friendly, cheery faces. So good to see like everyone's out enjoying having their food. Yeah. Oh. Bangkok's nightlife is back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so guys, we are here at our first stop, Burapar Rangnok, which is um, bird's nest, and we're here with the owner herself. So first things first, what is this? It's a hoochalang. Ah, so okay, this lovely lady has just told us this is a shark's fin. So this is how shark's fin look, look like. So this is bird's nest. Oh, hey, bird's nest, ah. She just told us this is bird saliva. Um, I don't know. Should we try it? Definitely. They said she said they have three qualities: so A grade, B grade, and C grade. And I think they have a like um, copy. I think that's something we should try. So let's try bird nest. And they have warm and they have cold version of it. So yeah. what do you prefer? Let's have the hot version. Let's go. Let's It's good. Um, traditional Chinese people they believe that yeah. eating bird nest is good for your health. Yeah. It's good for So it's actually good for leaves that it's eating bird nest is kind of healthy for you. So it's good for your skin and for your immune alongside with your body. So I feel that my body is quite dry. Yeah. So let's try it out. So bird nest. Bird's nest. It's a jelly texture, right? Yeah, and it's quite sweet, honestly. Like, it could be mistaken for a dessert. For those who want to try it, Burapha Bird Nest, as soon as you exit from MRT Wat Mangkon, you just walk straight until the end on your left hand side. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Okay, guys, so we're here at rush hour now in Chinatown, and we're here at the Michelin Star restaurant to have some koi chop. So koi chop is actually Hong Kong noodles, and this is the Michelin Star, as you know. Yeah, I think these noodles are like roasted in this herbal like stew for like a long, authentic long Chinese time. noodles. Yeah. And yeah, it's really good with crispy pork. That's what I heard. Yeah, I'm so excited to try this. Actually, have you mm. tried it? You can smell you can smell the herbs. Oh god, if you guys could smell this through the camera, it would just blow your mind. I swear. It's just so aromatic. And you the, can smell all the herbs and everything. The color is just so beautiful. I'm ready to try this. I can't wait and no the more. Pork also. Oh my Quite job! Quite job. Soft, crispy, aromatic, amazing. Oh my god, that's really good. Any second. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Guys, we have chui kui. Sam, what's this? Chui kui. Honestly, it's fun to say. Chui kui, chui kui. <laughs> so it's actually Chinese steamed dumplings topped with radish. And it's vegetarian. So for all the vegetarian friends out there, here's something for you in Chinatown. Yo, Sam, yo, yo, yo. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Say no to plastic. Try this. What's that? Reusable spoon from Ecoholic. Mm. Okay. Save the planet. So you have spoon, you have fork, and you have chopsticks. Chopsticks. And, and you have it in a little cute travel box as well. <laughs> so which one do you want to use? Uh, this. That's fun. And 
and the orange spice. look at the duck it's like the skin is properly roasted oh, and yes. the texture is yummy it's actually so good That's what I just I, said. We'll have, we'll have the name down in below. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's really nice. There's some statues and. Let's let's go in. Let's go. Yeah, in. let's go. I can't describe it. <laughs> fun ride to go see what's around Chinatown. Now remember Chinatown's not only for the food. It's yeah, for the experience, the temples, the culture. The culture, the yeah. If you come here you definitely need to make a whole day out of it. Yeah. And also come earlier so you can visit the temples. That is so true. Okay guys, so for our first dessert we're gonna have something from this shop called Sweet Time. Did you know Sweet Time is one of the most popular dessert shop in Yawara or in yeah. Chinatown? I can actually see because there's actually a queue behind us behind. to order, so let's go uh, for it. These look like beans. I don't know, I'm gonna try this one. That's look chip? Yeah. And they also have these sagas. Lover of coconut, so I'm really excited to try this one. So what about you? I, I won't be having this. I have another favorite, which okay. is also coconut based. Okay. So it's called Boloi. So okay. I'll take it there. Alright, let's go. Really good seafood sauce on it. That is just. Oh. 
the garlic also is yeah. nice. Perfect for spicy lovers. Next up, we have the shrimp. <laughs> There's like a real shrimp in there. Yep. For dessert, we came to a Michelin star. That's deep fried Chinese dough. Yep. Yep. Alright, let's try some. Let's try some. Ooh. Ooh. Fluffy. Yeah, these calories don't count. Definitely doesn't count. And you dip it in pandan custard. Pandan green, gooey, gooey custard. Ah. Cheers. Patanko. Whoa. That's good. Hands down, this is the best. Uh. All right, I'm so full. Let's just go home. No, no, no. We can't go home yet. We need to like, comment, and subscribe to Travel, Travel with Arun. And don't forget to share. Guys, click that button. Share it to your friends, to your family, anyone you know would freaking love Chinatown. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on YouTube as well. And on TikTok. Sam has a TikTok account. Oh, <laughs> But yeah, see you soon. See you in the next one. Peace.